What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin Nerd Show. Today we're looking at some figures we don't normally look at here on the channel, but we have the Jazz Wears AEW Unmatched Series 3 figure, which is the Dark Order wave. So we have the whole wave here, so we thought we'd do a video on them. So we have all the Dark Order figures that they have released so far. So first off here, of course, have the leader of the Dark Order of Mr. Brody Lee himself, which is really cool to get a figure of him, you know, since he passed away. So that's awesome and comes with that TNT Championship. And behind him, we have the Dark Order. So we have Evil Uno, Stu Grayson, John silver and anna J. so these four of dark order members to go along with mr Brody lee is really cool to have all of these and we're just missing some of the dark order members now but i know they're coming out in later series so we're gonna be getting them all here and then we do also have the Brody lee collection the ringside exclusive set of Brody lee with his son negative one which is a really cool pack as well so we have this to open up and look at which is really cool so i'm excited to check all these figures out i've not personally messed with any of the aew figures so far so this will be my first time dealing with them but i think they all look pretty cool and i'm excited to check them out so let me get them open out of the box and they do have these card things so we may have to look at those if we're going to open them i'm not sure but i'll show you what cards we got as well with the exclusive packs that came with it so i'll get them open and everything and we'll take a look at them together so we're going to start off with the exalted one and leader of the Dark Order, Mr. Brody Lee. So he overall looks pretty cool, of course, the former Luke Harper from WWE that went to AEW and became Mr. Brody Lee. And overall, he looks pretty cool here. So I like his hair all back in like the man bun thing, the big long beard here. And of course, the face there of Brody Lee as well looks pretty good. And then he's got the bigger body. So like we'll see with all of them together how big he is. So he's a big tall guy. So the figure is as well. He's got the hair on his chest, the singlet top. I like the design that connects into like with the pants design stuff belled around the waist and then the pants going down whereas Brody Lee on the right side and on the left side he's got the numbers of the different characters from the Dark Order so overall he just looks really good here I really like the look of of course Dark Order there with their logo on the back and the all black and gray outfit so overall I like the look of this I think it's a good representation of Brody Lee and overall looks how he did when he wrestled so very good figure design but let's go and do his movement so his head can twist around there it can probably get all the way around but his beard's a little bit in the way but you look down a little bit and up a little bit there so not much movements in the neck but it does have the movements in there the shoulders can come up to 90 and i thought would be able to rotate all the way around but it only gets about that far before stuff starts popping and creaking so probably can't get it all the way around so just a little bit back and forth but he's got the bicep twist the double elbow joint that can bend up that far so not too bad and the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth which one nice thing about these figures is they have really good like pops i doubt you can hear the noise but they have really good like poppings and clicking sounds and stuff so they stay pretty well and then we've got the ab crunch and twist so you can crunch forward crunch backs a little bit of crunching there and can twist a little side to side and then it also feels like he has a crunch at his waist with a little bit of twist there as well hips can come up about that far so under 90 out to the side that far thigh twist that a little bit stiff but can twist all the way around a double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back and then we get the foot that can flex back and forth a little bit twist a very little side to side so overall, it is pretty decent, you know, pretty standard action figure. Like I said, this is my first time ever messing with the AEW figures. So I didn't really know what to expect, but overall, it's not too bad. Like I said, I like the clicking and the joints and stuff because that sort of helps ensure like with the joints and like posing and stuff that you're not going to have loose arms. So that's really nice. And overall, he does have some limitations, but I feel that's just the body design and stuff overall. So I have to see as we go through if other figures have better, but I'm not too disappointed in this at all. And now, as I showed, we also do have that ringside exclusive pack with the memory of Brody Lee. So we have this figure as well so as you can see they're pretty much exactly the same and like the figures are exactly the same the only real difference is the exclusive one comes with the white coat that he wore so that's pretty nice that he comes with that coat and then the face designs look a little bit different so this one has just like a stoic face and this one has like maybe a little bit happier face or something his eyes look a little bit sort of like he's smiling or something but i didn't really expect him to use the exact same figure and just put a coat on and stuff but i guess for an easy exclusive so that's pretty cool and then of course that also came with his son of negative one so nice little negative one figure here which we can do his movements as well. So the head can twist around. You look down that far and up that far. So pretty good. Shoulders can come up to 90. Rotate all the way around. Bicep twist. Double elbow joint. That bends up that far. And the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth. I have crunch in the middle there. So crunch back and forth. And twist a little side to side. And then the lower crunch and little twist there as well. Hips up just about that far. So not much. And out to the side. Thigh twist all the way around. Double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back. It's hard with the knee 
feet pads on him and then he has a twist at the top of the boot and foot can flex back and forth and twist a very little side to side so i like this figure as well the negative one has better joints and everything but he has a lot less stuff obstructing him but just overall nice little figure as well of the negative one especially they have a set here of the father and son since you know brody did pass away so it's a nice little pack that they included negative one here with the brody lee in this one exclusive pack but the figures did have some accessories as well they kind of shared a lot of similar accessories but they came with the tnt title so of course the title for tnt when they were on there for dynamite stuff still has the tnt title so like the AEW at the top tnt there and champion and then all sorts of plates and stuff there on the side on the red leather strap so pretty nice design overall for this so we can put it around his waist or wherever but it's awesome that he did come with that since he was one of the first champions so pretty cool and we'll go ahead and put it around his waist so there's Brody lee with the title which looks really cool and as i said they have a lot of shared stuff so the other one came with the title as well and then if you watch some of their skits on bt and stuff he comes with some paper as well so we have a stack of paper so nice like ream of paper and stuff so a nice little design here with the paper you know add some details that look like paper so we have that as well as a rolled up piece of paper they like to hit and throw a lot of times at like you know so nice little paper and stuff you can put into his hands as well and speaking of hands all these figures came with a lot of hands but we kind of got them all mixed up but we have combinations of like fist hands and then open hands especially hands for doing like the dark order symbols so we have the different hands that can go to any character but it kind of we they all got mixed up so i don't know what exactly goes to just certain ones i know like this little one goes to negative one so he has the little hand there so i won't really be showing off the hands unless i know specifically who they go to but yeah we just have a combination of that but overall it's really cool to get a figure here of Brody lee and it being along with the dark order so very nice figure overall and then that brings us to Evil Uno, the second in command of the Dark Order and number one of the group. So he overall looks, you know, pretty good, very similar to like Evil Uno does. So he's a bigger guy, you know, is a little bit fat and stuff. So I like how they added some of the fatness into his body to give that design. But overall has his look. So he's got like the weird mask on. It's almost like the Get Mask or whatever. So pretty weird with the teeth design. And it's just an overall interesting design for him. But I think they carried it off really well. And then they have this vest covering up since, you know, he's a bigger guy. He tries to hide his midsection. So he wears like this vest piece over the top and then I like the leather the silver details and everything through there wraps around his wrist and pants going down again and the black spandex with the purple on it as well knee pads and then his boots with some purple on it and his socks sticking out of the top so overall pretty nice design for Evo not my favorite look for him but it fits in with the rest of this dark order wave so I guess it's good but for his movements his head can twist all the way around and can look down that far and up that far so really good shoulders can come up to 90 there and rotate around yeah his can go all the way around bicep twist the double elbow joint that bends up that far so good wrist twist around flex back and forth with the ab crunch stuff he's got it in there so he can crunch and twist around now who knows exactly where all the joints are and stuff since he's covered but his hips can come up very close to 90 out to the side that far thigh twist all the way around a double knee joint that bends up that far to the back again with all their knee pads it's going to be in the way of their joints shin twist at the top of the boot and the foot flexes back and forth and can twist a little side to side so not too bad. He has some limitations, but he is a bigger guy, so you would expect some limitations. But a really nice figure for Evil Uno overall. Now for accessories, he comes with a microphone. So he has the AEW microphone, since he's kind of like the spokesperson for the Dark Order. He comes with the microphone that you can put into his hand. So he has a special hand with like a smaller grip and stuff to be able to hold the microphone. And then he also, of course, comes with a grip hand because he's the only one that has an additional grip hand like this. So there we've got Evil Uno cutting a promo here with the Dark Order. So pretty nice design here for Evil Evil Uno. And next we have Stu Grayson, number two of the Dark Order and the tag partner of Evil Uno. And he looks pretty good here overall. Unfortunately, he's no longer with the company. So it kind of stinks that we get a figure of him just as he's no longer with the company, but a pretty nice looking figure just overall. And so he's got the lines on his face. So the paint lines he puts on his big bushy beard as well, which of course I feel should be a little bit more blondish because his hair is not that dark, but he's got that with his bald head. And then of course his all muscular body since he's all ripped. He's got the purple band around his arm, the wraps around his wrist. So he's got like like this sort of skin color sort of wraps there around his wrist and then he's got this skirty material around his waist so nice leather material I like with all the holes and tears and the overall design with some like the brown leather like belt straps design but the all purple and black of course fitting in with the dark order and I assume underneath he's got his normal like wrestling gear trunks yeah he's got the all black trunks with some additional like little belt piece with leather hanging down but I don't know how you get this off of him don't know if you can just pop apart the body and just slide this off or what the deal is but I guess just for this we'll go ahead and leave the skirting on since you can easily just get 
get it out of the way. But he doesn't wrestle with this on, so he takes it off before the match, so it's just on there. But then he's got the black knee pads and then the black normal wrestling boots as well. So really nice look for Stu Grayson. I just don't like this skirting piece. But for his moons, head can twist all the way around and can look down about that far. His beard's in the way and then can look up that far. His shoulders can come up to 90 and rotate all the way around. Bicep twist, double elbow joint that far wrist twist around and flex back and forth and then we have the upper ab crunch so crunch back and forth so forward and back and twist side to side you hear those poppins and then i assume he has the twist at the waist as well so crunch back and forth and twist there as well his hips can come up very close to 90 out to the side that far pretty close to doing the splits thigh twist that can twist all the way around the double knee joint that can bend up that far again knee pads are getting in the way shin twist at the top of the boot and the foot flexes back and forth and twists a little side to side so Stu's definitely had the best movements out of all the figures so far so that's really good and he comes with an additional head so we have a head here with his mouth open like yelling and then he comes with the additional hand so I know it's his because it's got the wrappings around him so again the hand to do the dark order hand symbol so that is pretty cool as well for the figure of Stu Grayson and next up, we've got Johnny Hungry, John Silver, number four of the Dark Order. And he looks pretty good here overall. So he's one of the shorter guys. So we'll see with all the comparisons that he's the shortest male out of the group. But he's all big and jacked. So they have all the muscles on him and everything. Of course, not nearly as big as he probably really is. But he looks pretty awesome here. So he's got his all bald head and his big bushy beard. So this one looks probably more like it should. And he's just got like a stoic face on there. I wish they did like a laughing face or something because I feel that'd be much more appropriate. But he's got his long leather like trench coat thing in here so again in the all black and purple with some silver on it with the dark order logo there on the back with silver there so pretty cool it's got the black wrist tape the purple trunks with just like a black line on it the black knee pads but one has the dark order logo and then he's got the black boots with some kick pads on there which is pretty cool so overall this is a nice looking figure of john silver so for his moon's head can twist there side to side yeah it's hard to get him all the way around because his beard but he can look up that far and down that far so not bad movements in the neck shoulders can come up 90 and rotate rotate around bicep twist the double elbow joint bends that far oh his pretty much goes all the way up on itself so really good wrist can twist around and flex back and forth ab crunch there so you can see him crunch back and forth and twist side to side and then of course has the lower crunch and little twist there hips can come up close to 90 out to the side yeah close to doing splits thigh twist that feels stiff i can't really get yeah i can get a twist all the way around there double knee joint that bends up that far to the back so not bad and then shin twist at the top of the boot and foot flex back back and forth and twist side to side. So yeah, as expected going through this, a lot of the characters have all the exact same movements, which I feel is normal, especially for wrestling figures where you're not going to have much variation. You know, they're all people with all the same sort of joints, just limitations of some flexibility depending on the outfit. So Silver is no different and he has pretty good movements overall. Now he has an additional head as well. So there's a head with him like sort of laughing, yelling, screaming, whatever you want to say there. So a nice additional head that I feel is much more appropriate for him. So I'll probably be switching that out. And then once again, he's got all the assortments of hands and fists and stuff that we can put on him but don't really know what exactly goes to him but overall i think it's a nice figure and our final figure of the wave is Anna J, which looks pretty decent overall. I don't like her face at all. I don't know if it's just ours is messed up or what the deal is with the face, but I do not like this. But she's the only female of the group and she is number 99 of the Dark Order. And overall, like I said, she looks pretty decent. She has like the Dark Order sort of outfit on. So has the purple and black and silver. She has the color around her neck. And then just like I said, overall, her face looks a little bit weird. Of course, with the shininess of the figures doesn't help. But she's got some like red lipstick and then all the eyeliner and stuff. But there's also a mark here on the face. I don't know. If that's supposed to be okay i didn't know if it was part of like the eye design sort of messed up but it looks like it is a 99 since that's her number so it's supposed to be on her face so i guess that does help a little bit but overall the face still doesn't doesn't look that good but then she's got the brown hair like going into the lighter brown or blonde and then she's just got the trunks on and then the knee pads that are all polka dotty with the purple there and then the black wrestling boots as well so pretty standard looking female figure overall and like i said i just don't like that face design too much i wish they did a little bit better for her now when we got this wave we ordered it from ringside club Collectible. So when it came in, we actually got a Chase version. So we got the one of 5,000 Chase version of Anna J, which I think overall I like the outfit design much better on this one and maybe the face design too. It doesn't seem as shiny or I don't know if it's just because it's in the box or what, but it just looks like the face is a little bit better because there's, of course, what she's supposed to look like there. So I feel the one we have here, which is the basic release one, didn't carry out the look as much. But yeah, we got the Chase one, so we decided not to open it. It came in this case and everything from ringside. So pretty awesome to have that there. And so we just 
just went out and bought this normal figure to go with this wave. But with her being female, let's see if she's any different. So her head can twist a little side to side there. Yeah, pretty close. Her hair's a little bit in the way. She can look down that far and up that far, pretty much just straight on because of her hair. So not bad for movement. Shoulders can come up to 90, rotate around, bicep twist, the double elbow joint that can bend the yeah, up on itself so good once again. Wrist twist around and flex back and forth. She's got the upright crunch right on her chest. So crunch forward, crunch back there and twist side to side. And then she has a twist at the waist that you can see. So twist all the way around there. Then the hips can come up about that far. So not too far in and out to the side there. Thigh twist all the way around. The double knee joint that bends that far to the back. Shin twist at the top of the boot. And then the foot flexes back and forth and twist side to side a little bit stiff. I can twist there a little. So yeah, she's pretty much similar to all the others. She just has this twist at the waist there that at least we don't see on the others if they have it, but still pretty decent figure, you know, not many limitations, so still a good figure. So the only thing I don't like about this is her face. But I don't know if it'll help much, but she does come with an additional face. So there she's more like smiling, but it does look a little bit better just uh, for a female figure overall, a better face. But I don't know if I'd want to have a smiling face for being in the dark order for her. And then she comes with some additional hands and it's easy to tell hers because they're much smaller. So she has a set of grip hands as well as the dark order hand there. So we can switch that out for her. So pretty decent figure for Anna J overall. Like I said, don't like this face on her. And I do like the outfit more on the Chase version, but we didn't want to open it. So we had to get this one with this outfit. Well, there's our Dark Order wave all together. So you can see how they did the height differences between all the characters, making John Silver shorter than the other guys. And he's pretty much on par height-wise with Anna J. Of course, Naked One's the actual shortest since he's a kid and how tall Brody Lee is compared to all of them. So that's pretty cool to have all of our Dark Order members there. Just missing our other members of Alex Reynolds to go with John Silver. And then we need Alan Angels and Tin and Colt Cabana and stuff. And we'd have all the Dark Order here. So pretty cool to get this wave with all these figures together. Now, as I mentioned on the pack, they came with cards so we have the stack of cards here I figured we just run through them real quick so we got Pac, Jungle Boy, Mark Quinn, Stu Grayson so there we got Stu Grayson from Dark Order there Darby Allen, Big Swole, Orange Cassidy, MJF, Santana. Then we've got the Lucha Bros, which is pretty cool there. And then we got Proud and Powerful of Santana and Ortiz. Got good old JR, Sting, and then a card of Darby Allen and Nyla Rose. I don't really know what's up with these cards. Of course, they look different compared to all the others. So I don't know if they're like the rare cards or what the deal is, but pretty cool to get those two there as well. So I just wanted to run through those cards that we didn't get any like doubles or anything, which is really cool. But overall, this is pretty awesome way for the unmatched series 3 dark order wave and then that exclusive pack with the Brody lee and negative one so pretty cool set of figures overall for the aew dark order characters i really like these a lot there's not really any issues with them so i think they're pretty good wrestling action figures but let me know what you thought of them down in the comments and if you enjoyed this review let me know with a thumbs up but i want to thank you all for watching i hope you all stay awesome out there and i'll see you in our next review